Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. They see me rolling. They hating. Trying to catch me riding dirty. What's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and here we are back at it again with another action figure review. Okay, did I say it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so today we have Juggernaut. No, not that Juggernaut, but this Juggernaut right here. <laughs> and this guy, uh, if there's one thing he has in common with Juggernaut, is he is a big, big boy. As you guys can see, I can barely fit him in my camera frame right here. This is from Ultima Online. Online. That's what you guys are right now. You guys are online. Online. On in YouTube. On YouTube. In YouTube. Um, are you necessarily... You're online, right? When you're on YouTube? I think so. Okay, so to the left... <laughs> I'm such an asshole. Okay, so to the left, we have the last figure that I reviewed of Blackthorn. And then over here, we have Adnorath. Part of the Ultima Online uh, lineup. Uh, next to uh, uh, the Blackthorn, we have the Marauder, and then over there we have Sugarman, one of my favorite figures uh, as of 2020, guys. Even though he's a builder figure, he's one of my favorite figures of 2020. All right, man, this guy is a big one. Uh, he's probably the biggest one out of the entire Ultima Online lineup, um, with the exception of probably Ancient Worm. If you guys want to see a review of that, check it out. Uh, there are two other figures that I probably won't review. Uh, this one and that one because um, Captain Dasha and Warlord Kabo, Kabur. Um, probably, because simply I'm not really interested in those two figures. But you know me guys, if I come across them for a good price, uh, then you know I'm going to pick them up. Okay, so let's get to the slicing and dicing. Let's open this up. The World of Ultima Online. This is from McFarlane Toys, Spawn.com. This is an 18-year-old figure. This is when the line came out. So let's go ahead and cut this open. I'm glad you guys are here with me today. Doing another review um, of a figure or a lineup that doesn't get too much love, which I really think it should because... There's some amazing, amazing detail on these figures. But today, I'm showing this guy some love. I'm showing him some love. Okay, so it comes with the pamphlet right here, which you guys already seen with the previous three other figures. There's that, the Collector's Club, Spawn the Altern Alternate Realities. I reviewed all those figures. If you guys haven't seen it, you guys should check out those reviews. Let's take out Juggernaut right here. This big mother, mother load of a figure. Let's get him out. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay, here is Juggernaut. Look at this, look at this beast. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit. Let's pull Juggernaut out. And if you guys know a story of Juggernaut, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'll pin it to my page. So let's take out Juggernaut. And he is on a wheel. Which makes him <laughs> not stand. Okay, so let's take a look at this Juggernaut. Is he missing the wheel? No, he just comes with uh, two wheels that have him off balance, dude. What? How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to display this guy if he cannot stand up? What kind of shit is that, dude? <laughs> dude. Okay, but this guy, man, is this rubber? Yeah, rubber tires. Look at that, dude. Look at this tire, dude. It spins. This one spins as well. They're rubber. And there he is cruising. It's a little bumpy because he has these spikes on his wheels. Really dope figure, man. 
really, really dope figure, man. Can I even call this an action figure, or, can, or do I call this an automobile? <laughs> Dude, this guy... Man, whoever came up with this shit, man, I, I, I have to give it up to them, man, because they got an, an amazing imagination, man. Amazing freaking imagination, man. There's the side of Juggernaut, there's the back of Juggernaut. Jeez, man. Okay, so his arm is articulated. He's got wires going into his arms. It can't really go out. It just goes up and down. This bends. And look, the piston actually moves with this figure. Both pistons, actually. Look at that. You see his arms? Both of the pistons actually move. Don't confuse them. Don't confuse this. These pistons with the Detroit pistons, which actually suck. I should know because I'm from Detroit. Awesome, guys. Awesome. It does this. Oh, yeah. His thing right here moves. I forget what the hell you call this. His spike spinner thing drill. Interesting, guys. Interesting. This. Oh, yeah. And this can swivel. This swivels right here. There's a brake right here. So you can get his. Uh, what do you call this thing? I don't know. I forget what the hell you call this thing. Drill. We'll just call it a drill. Can swivel. That's really, really dope. As far as this hand goes, goes up and down and it pops off. <laughs> Did it break on me? I don't know if it's supposed to come off like that or not, but it came off. Well, it came off, but that's no big deal. And this does bend. <laughs> it doesn't stand up. This arm does bend. I'll figure I might as well show the articulation while I have his arm in my hand. So yeah, it does bend and his claw does open. That's really dope, man. The detail in this thing. This this guy, this guy kind of reminds me of uh you remember that movie uh Judge Dredd with Stallone? That he kind of reminds me of like one of those creatures from that movie. He's a pretty solid, well, pretty heavy piece hollow right here but it's durable plastic not the plastic of today where it's very fragile there's the face sculpt to juggernaut right here and he's got all this wiring going on his head doesn't move and that's pretty much all you're going to get i love the stop light right here <laughs> are the are the light right there be nice if it lit up but then again you know you go to the the left side of his uh, machine, and you see the screws right here. See the screw right there, screw right there, screw right there. Screw you, screw this, screw this review. Overall, man, a very, very nice piece, dude. My only gripe is he doesn't really stand up because he's off balance, because he doesn't have three wheels. He just has two wheels, which puts him off balance, guys. But... I can possibly use this stand because uh, Blackthorn doesn't really need this stand because he stands pretty much by himself on his um, on his uh, cape. And I can possibly put this right here. Possibly. The word possibly. And yeah, I can use this as a stand right here and put it like right here. And this way I can get him to stand and he can be posed. So yeah. See, I knew this stand would come in handy. Or you can put it back here. Yeah, probably put it right here between the wheel and his craft. His machine. And then you can get him, get him to stand, dude. Very nice, man. Very, very nice. Like I said, my only gripe is he doesn't stand properly because he's off balance. But it can be fixed. You just got to know how to fix him. Okay, not too bad. Um, listen, his arm popped off. I don't know if it was supposed to pop off or not, but I don't really care. It was easy to peg peg back in. It's in a, it's in there, so um, 
it's, uh, look, you're making me look bad, juggernaut. So yeah, it's no big deal. If I want it, if I want the arm to really stay in there, I would glue it, but I'll just leave it because it's not going, it's not really going anywhere. I do like the overall look of this guy. I think he's really, really dope. I think he's really unique. Um, with that being said, let's do some measurements of Juggernaut, guys. It, it's, it amazes me, guys, because when I buy these figures and then I take them out, I have a whole different perspective on this guy. And it just makes you wonder, man, what, what was the person thinking when they designed this uh, figure? Or this character, should I say, because the figure is based on a character. So Juggernaut stands, I would say, about seven and a half inches. We'll give him seven and a half inches. Uh, Width-wise, he's about six and a half inches. We'll we'll give him six and a half inches. Um, Length-wise, going this way from front to back, he's at about seven. We'll say seven inches. So seven. 777, all three sevens, lucky number 21. Um, nice figure, man. Nice figure. I would have to... I would have to... You know, look at this guy a little bit more because... Um, I have to... I'm looking to see if his wheels articulate and it's not. I would, yeah, this guy would have to grow on me, but I really, really like... The overall look to this guy. I love that his wheels roll, man. Um, like I said, it'd be nice if he could stand, but I'm a dreamer. There we go. Okay, so let's. Uh, so here is the other figure that I recently reviewed of Blackthorn. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Yeah, I just quoted John Lennon while doing a toy review. Okay, so here's Blackthorn, and here is Adnarath Rath with uh, Juggernaut. Be nice if I get him into camera view. Boom. There you guys have it. Awesome, man. I really, really like this figure. Um, move these figures back. Let's bring in Sugar Man, simply because I love the Sugar Man. Uh, to give you guys a better scale of how big this guy is, here is Juggernaut with Sugar Man. So if you guys had the Sugar Man figure, then you know how big this Juggernaut is. So width-wise, they're, they're two big, chunky fellas. This one is all not physically chunky. Mechanically, he's chunky. <laughs> if, that, if that makes any sense whatsoever, dude. I make up this shit as I go along. Okay, so here is Marauder with Juggernaut. Very dope, man. Um, and being that this guy's name is Juggernaut, let me bring in... Marvel Select Juggernaut to give you guys an idea of how big this guy is. So here is Marvel Select Juggernaut with Ultima Online Juggernaut. That's how big he is. That's how they measure up. Pretty, pretty dope figure, man. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you my rating, man. What do I make of this Juggernaut? I think he's unique. I think he's one of a kind, kind of like Black Thorn right here. Um, uh, he's definitely going to stand out your, in your collection, like Sugar Man right here. Sugar Man right there. Um, so yeah, man, for that alone, I, I really, really like this figure. And also, he has a wheel, too. How many action figures uh, do you own that actually is half man, half... Uh, what do you call the tricycle? The one the unicycle? Half man, half unicycle. <laughs> Is that what you call the bikes with the one wheels, the unicycles? Uh, yeah, so how many figures do you have that you own that are half man or I don't know if this is even a man, half mutant and half unicycle? I mean, to me, that's awesome, dude. So let me go ahead and give you my rating, man. I think he's awesome. I really recommend this figure if you like cool, creepy stuff. That's what I like reviewing. That's what I like collecting. And if you guys like that shit too, then this figure is probably for you, man. I really, really like how he looks. Aesthetically, he's really awesome. He's really nice to look at. 
My only grape is he doesn't stand up straight. You might need a stand or something to prop him up against on his left side because he's not standing. He doesn't stand properly. Thankfully, I have that stand from Blackthorn. Um, so let me go ahead and give you my rating. Um, aesthetically, he's really awesome. Um, so I'm going to give a rating, same rating as I gave to Blackthorn. I'm going to give him a solid eight, man. The detail is immaculate. It's very, it's done very, very nicely. Stay tuned towards the end of the video. I'm going to give you guys a better close up look at this, uh, juggernaut and, um, there's nothing more I can say, man. I think he's really, really beautiful. He's not bad articulation-wise uh, because his wheel makes up for his articulation. But the it, it, he's not bad, being that his arms actually move, his wheels move nicely. He's pretty. He's a pretty, pretty dope figure. My only gripe is I wish he would turn. I wish he had a swivel in his chest or waist area. That would have been awesome because to have him cruising... And then have him turn would have been awesome. But it is an older figure, so I understand. So, guys, yeah, I give him a solid 8, man. I definitely do recommend this figure. Um, if you guys are interested in picking them up, you can find all these uh, Ultima Online figures for really, really cheap right now, man. Uh, they're really, really easy to come by. Uh, if you're looking for cool stuff to display, I definitely recommend this Juggernaut. So, tell me what you guys think of this figure. What do you make of them? Do you own them? Do you plan on picking them up after this review? Is it a pickup or is it a pass? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We'll go ahead and leave it at that, guys. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out, homies. Never gon' give, never gon' give